People, welcome back to Politics Watch. This is Sir P. Now, in Jamaica, the word Don is thrown around a lot. Um, uh, everybody, if I'm going off a little corner, they know the Don of this and Don of that. And to be honest, even the bigger, more known Don, such as your, you know, your Willie Haggards and your, your Bulby and your Bun Man and your Dodos and these type of people. To be honest, when you think about it, they really weren't that powerful. Uh, if you watch plenty of the videos I've done in my dance series, you will see how these men lived and how them end up gold, right? It really shows you say, these men are really not that powerful, right? As I've said many times, you could describe them as political puppets, agents of the system, right, who are used and then refused. As soon as they're no longer needed, as soon as a better replacement turn up, as soon as they violate and step out of line, they are quickly, um, what I say, disposed of. Right now, we've covered many dons who go like this. For example, you heard about your Baldy. What happened when him step out of line? Right. You heard about the the, the, the various big bad dons who think them could do what them feel like and just and just um push up themselves and go on like to them not in the others and then we see what happened to them. But today we're gonna to talk about arguably one of the most infamous cases of uh Dan passing in place, getting too big for his boots, and then suddenly and mysteriously and the case never solved, them gone. Just like that. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about the old time Dan known as fed em up right now of course the older jamaicans would have heard about fed em up right um he actually got his name based on the way how his locks looked right he had locks rastaman and but a lot of them were gray so it looked like um a mop you know like how a mop look well that's why he got the name fed em up now people i'm also going to briefly touch on the, the other pnp done from back then boy boy Right, and I'm also going to show you Cloudy Massop's death certificate and a very, very interesting statement that is written on it. Trust me, people, you want to see this. Right now, let's talk about Dan now. because a Dan really is a shot caller. A Dan doesn't necessarily mean somebody who sit down on a corner and a fire shot. I mean, most 90 octanes, most of the big 90 octanes never sit down on a corner and shoot off anybody. Right, your ball bees on them Monday, right? Then they um they might touch a, they might touch the streets every now and then and, and roll with the crew every now and then, but really they were not on the streets that run up and down after people like that, right? Especially once they reach to a certain level, right? So you don't need to be a quote unquote in the streets bad man to be a done, right? I would say the biggest dons were never really in the streets like that. That's really a 87 acting thing to be in the streets that give only for trouble. So, if you look at Dan from the perspective of just somebody who calls shots and makes things happen and really in charge, you would have to say politicians in Jamaica are the real Dan's. You would have to say the various members in the PNP and the JLP are the real Dan's of the Jamaica. Right? The real Dan, when you think about what, what it means to be a Dan, because you see, for example, your ball behind them and they who just get taken out like that, gone, bye bye, see you later. The politicians never get taken out. Never, no matter what they do. Right? And even the communities where they come from, or the communities where they lead. When the community claims to them love are done, and the politician get rid of that done, the community doesn't vote out the politician. Think about that. People say them love the done and them love. People say them love Jim Brown and Jim Brown was the real man. And then the same people say, okay, well, I see I gotta get rid of him, but they never vote out Siaga. So that show you say. People, when you talk about Dan, in my opinion, two of the biggest Dan's Jamaica has ever seen are none other than Michael Manley and Edward Siaga. Right. Of course, as me say, they never sit down on the corner with no AK and the man shoot off for people. No. But these men were dance, big, big dance too. They were so big that even after them gone, their influence still remained. Still remained. Now, you've heard all kinds of stories about Edward Siaga. 
see Edward Siaga outlived Michael Manley. So more people got to see more Siaga. More people are familiar with Siaga. Matter of fact, almost virtually everybody who is listening to me right now would have turned an adult and know about Edward Siaga. While enough people, when they turn adult, they only hear about Michael Manley because he was already passed away. Right, he had already passed away. So, I've covered Siaga many times. Of course, you know, he's blamed for the Jim Brown thing. Um, I mean, uh, th- there's so many things hanging over Edward Siaga. Ed, right? People say, my CIA, people say, um, I'm responsible for this and he did bring it. People, everybody know Edward Siaga filed because Edward Siaga, as I say, lived longer and was able to get criticized more. You know, the saying in, in Batman, when Two Face said, uh, die and be a hero or live long enough to be a villain, people, See, if Edward Siaga did, did dead, maybe 20, 30 years earlier, he would be remembered much differently. That two-faced saying is true. When people dead, for some reason, they become heroes. And a lot of the things that them do get forgotten. Right? Edward Siaga, by hanging around so long and being alive for so long, meant that by the time he passed away, he was now a full-fledged villain. However, Michael Manley, on the other hand, right? I'll have a more, how would I say, mm, a, more, a lot of people don't look at Manly as, yeah, he mixed up with Dan's and he did a par with Dan and he, in, that, that was Edward Siaga thing, but that's not true. Michael Manly in his day was also known to par and associate with Dan's, right, and give them strength. Some remember his infamous Paseros in the Garrison speech where he literally big up certain Dan's, Bory Boy included. As a matter of fact, speaking about the same Bory Boy, he went to Bory Boy's funeral, he led the procession, right? Over 20,000 people went to the funeral. And there's a video on TVJ of Michael Manley in his own words, saying, well, down the road when he looked back on it, he probably shouldn't have went to that funeral. But at the time, that was major. So I don't know politicians are linked with Dan and I go down the funeral, right? Because the picture of the videos of Edward Siaga at Jim Brown, funeral made some people say well see that's all we need to see edward siaga is a ruthless monster how can he go to somebody like jim Brown funeral right but michael manley went to bore boy funeral but here's one of the good things that happened to michael manley he passed away before the whole camera thing came by the time edward by the time michael manley passed away um there, there really isn't much footage out there of Michael Manley in the streets like that, you find a little black and white videos here and there on your black and white picture. But Edward Siaga lived through and got caught up in the whole camera thing. So you'll catch Edward Siaga at more ends and, and mixing with more people than your Michael Manley. Now, let me talk about the most infamous case, in my opinion, of Adan stepping out of line and suddenly and mysteriously. Uh, biting the bullet and nobody don't know what I'm doing. All of a sudden, everybody's like, oh, me no know what person I'm. People, I'm talking about a man by the name of George Spence, who I spoke about earlier, Fedama. Now, you might have heard the story, an incredible story, that in the summer of 1975, when Michael Manley made his historic trip to Cuba to visit, um, then leader Fidel Castro. Boy, um, fed him up, was so entwined with the PNP that he went along on the trip. People picture that. Imagine, a, imagine 2020. Andrew Holness is going to meet, I don't know, the Prime Minister of Canada. And him decide to care pricky boy with him. Or, well, pick a boy is not done. Him decide to care if Dodos, if Dodos was still alive, right? Because Dodos had JLP, right? I, imagine, what, imagine, the, 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 imagine what the outcry would be. It would be extraordinary. People would be like, are you insane? Imagine PJ Patterson was going to meet the Queen of England and him decide to care Donovan, Bobby Bennett with him. That would be extraordinary, right? Well, in the summer of 1975, Visiting Fidel Castro, fed him up, made the trip. Fed him up, bad man, 90 octane, right? Done, fed him up, rude boy, 
how much people for them made the trip. And it was in this trip, right? And people, you can go read the Gleaner archives and all these things, right? Because I know a lot of people, a lot of people, especially the, the, the more die-hearted PNP um, side of people, like to pretend like somehow, well, this is how people look on it, depending upon who you talk to. Edward Siaga is the devil, and Michael Manley is an angel. Or people on the other side will tell you, well, Michael Manley was a devil, and Edward Siaga was the angel. People, when you can go do, when you only read up, green archives and all them things, they are talk to your granny and talk to old school people. People, this actually happened. But while Fedamap was there, them start sheer Fedamap pork. People remember what I said, Fedamap is a Rasta man. Not only was he a Rasta man, he was a hothead, a loose cannon, right? Fedamap was well known for going around a certain, um, for example, go down a the, 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 the parish come to go bother up people and tell them some of do this and do that and make sure this got happened to you. Fed up was a loose cannon. He, he became an embarrassment to the PNP. Right? These done because most of them are so hot they them always end up embarrassed their parties anyway. But this trip to Cuba was probably a bridge too far because after them served the Rastaman folk, Fed up kick over the table because I seen and embarrassed Michael Manley, embarrassed the PNP delegates who made the trip, and embarrassed Jamaica. Right? Now, apparently, they were going to deal with them up over there. Right? As in, the Cubans were going to deal with him over there. You know, Castro's boys were going to deal with him because obviously, I big disrespect that. Even if they don't eat pork, they don't deal with it like that. Right? People, again, this is them up in Cuba, on Fidel Castro's soil, pulling a stunt like this. So, the man they make him come back to Jamaica. Come back to Jamaica. And then, what do you know, people? Guess what happened to little old Fedham Up? Come on, people, have a guess. Right? Because that happened in the summer. Right? And guess what happened to him by the time it got further on, down into the end of the year. Right? Yes, people, December 1975. The 12th of December 1975. Fedham Up. Just like that, sitting in a bar. Somebody walk in and give him about three and nine People, if you look on your screen right now, you will see the official death certificate for Fed Up and you will see the words that are written on it. Right? If you can't see it, I'll read it for you right now, people. It says death was due to shock and hemorrhage and a result of injury to the head caused by a bullet of a firearm and unable to say who is responsible for his death. Uh, that is George Spence, as you can also see on your screen, he was 35 years old when he passed away. And he officially, he's a, he was a contractor. People, what am I telling about contractor all the time? Right. That's one of the two, two, there are some titles where, where a bad man always give himself. Either them call themselves contractor or laborer or something like that. Right. But people, fed them up, man walk in a bar, give him three nine men. And that was the end of Fedema. Within months of the incident that happened um, in Cuba. Now, of course, everybody from the PNP side they said they don't know what I'm doing. Right? They don't know what I'm doing. And that's usually how it go. Right? Nobody don't know how the damn dead. Nobody don't know how just shortly after Bowlby violated um, Peter Phillips, him just so happened for dead. Nobody don't know. That's a coincidence. Nobody don't know why. Shortly after, um, shortly before Jim Brown was supposed to fly out, right, and go, and go testify against certain members of the JLP, him just so happened for dead. Nobody don't know why I fed him up just months after the Cuba incident, just so happened for dead. People, there's a trend there, as I said. These men are used and refused. As soon as they step out of line and do something, as soon as they become too much to handle, they just gone. Just like that, and nothing come out of the case. And nothing come out of the case. Right now, people, I want to show you the documents of Claudia Massop. Because, of course, Claudia Massop was the um, Edward Siaga and the JLP done. Right? People, the, the, what, they wrote, what they wrote on the death certificate is fascinating. I want you to look at your screen right now. His death certificate says death was due to multiple gunshot wounds and all 20. F um, I can't see if it's 24 or 25, but it looked like 24 
policemen who took part in the operation at Marcus Garvey Drive on Industrial Terrace are criminally responsible. People, as I said, Claudia Massop was shot 40 times, right? Over 40 times by the police, right? Imagine that, people. At one point, he was the big man on the block, right? He was the, the big don. Right? People think same was all that and I'm run off place. Soon as he was no longer needed, police gave him 40. Just like that, he was replaced. Right, so people, I just want people to understand that the whole Dan concept in Jamaica, whether it's Claudia Massa, Boy Boy, Feather Mop, Bulby, Dodos, Zeke, people, all of these men are disposable. The real Dan's in Jamaica are politicians, and two of the biggest Dan's we've ever seen, I'll give it two of the biggest, are Michael Manley and Edward Siaga. Now, of course, I'm pretty sure you have some super powerful 116 who's behind the, 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 the who's in the dark, who nobody know them name, and know, um, they know them face and all that. Sure, I'll give you that. That, that. that probably is the case, right? You probably have some, well, you do have some really powerful people who don't know by name. But in terms of people who know by name, and especially in the political scene, for me, these two men are probably the biggest dance Jamaica's ever seen because not only what them do when they were here and how much power and influence they had when they were here what long after them gone people don't get it twisted Edward Siaga has a lot of loyal supporters enough people love Edward Siaga right I know it seems like say um cause people say oh blinds are CIA and, and, and blinds and people trust me Edward Siaga have his fans and likewise Michael Manley have theme fans them too a lot of people swear blind behind Michael Manley, right? So it all depends on who you ask and upon which day, which one is an angel and which one is the devil. Luckily, I was raised in a family where it wasn't political and I didn't grow up a tribalist, right? So I have no loyalty to either man, right? I have no dog in the fight, right? But I know them of them fans and I know people adore them. But of fact, you might see all kind of horses jump off in the comment section later on. Right, you might see people back and forth as to who was wicked and who saved saved Jamaica and who mash up. People, trust me, it's going to be entertaining, but don't get carried away though. Right, because remember the, the, the deportation papers is always here, right? Have your disagreements and go back and forth, but people be respectful. Right. So I just want to put it out there. Two of the biggest stands Jamaica's ever seen. Michael Manley and Edward Siaga. Patient squad, big up on yourself. Please like, comment and share the video. Bless.